So we've been waiting to um, have Iris in Swale for about six or seven years. It's been something that we've been working towards for a very long time. I first heard um, about the IRIS program uh, when I was at a conference and I was just blown away by the idea behind it. It's so, such a simple concept around training up and upskilling health professionals. We know from domestic homicide reviews um, that often survivors have spoken to their GPs and GPs don't have the equipment to be able to deal with disclosures and maybe have recorded that somebody you know has, has been subjected to abuse but not really done anything with that information and then unfortunately and very sadly the victim has been murdered. Um, so I think it's vital that the health uh, professionals are upskilled and that is a really safe space for somebody who's seeing a, a, their GP in a private room. And we believe that you know domestic abuse is everybody's business and everybody should be responding to domestic abuse when, it, when they see that there's a problem. And by upskilling our GP practices from receptionists and nurses through to GPs, um, we believe that victims are more likely to feel comfortable to disclose domestic abuse and they will be confident to know that there will be a referral made over to Satida um, where they will get support. The reason why we're so keen to have uh, Iris in Swale is because the health inequalities compared uh, with some other areas are quite vast. So we believe that Swale is a really good area to have a pilot for Kent of the Iris programme and to see what difference it will make um, to the health inequalities but also to the repeat attendances at GP surgeries. Being able to help other providers across Kent to learn the impacts of the um, Iris programme and to help them to deliver it maybe in their areas and certainly for us to scale that up across Kent. Ultimately, we want to be able to reach more victims of domestic abuse and we believe that using the IRIS programme we will be able to do that. I'm going to be very honest, the process in order to secure funding for this programme has been a long hard slog. I think lots of areas generally um, commission, so the PCC or, or the council um, or the CCG commission the IRIS program. However, um, I was very keen to lead the way um, in securing the funding as a small specialist women's service uh, and take control of that whole, whole narrative in order to be able to um, ensure that the delivery is how it, how it should be to support victims of domestic abuse. We had to secure the funding ourselves and the Tudor Trust have funded this, this programme, uh, which we're really grateful for. And we're hoping that we will start the ball rolling for other services to, to do the same. Our vision is that we will have an IRIS programme across Kent and Medway and we would like to think that this pilot will be the impetus for that to happen. Everyone at IRISI is really thrilled to be working with Cetada to launch the IRIS programme across this Wales area. Um, Cetada have worked tirelessly to bring the IRIS programme to the local area um, and it's really fantastic to be working with a specialist domestic abuse organisation who have identified that need themselves um, and, and really worked um, achieve, to achieve funding locally. We're really excited to see the programme get up and running and to see clinicians engaging with that um, and referring patients. Um, so massive congratulations Cetada. Um, and we'll be there to support you along the way.